Hi folks, Jeff Williams here where we have a large selection of Chevrolet Silverado and GMC trucks with up to $5,000 cash back or 0% financing for 72 months. Plus, you can take full advantage of over $9,000 in cash back and Autry Moreland discounts on select Chevrolet and GMC full-size SUVs. That's Autry Moreland Incorporated, 2505 East Malone in Sykeston, Missouri. If Moreland is standing on the back of your car, truck, or horse, you pay too much! Good morning. Welcome back once again to the Statesman News Network. My name is Corey Knowles. Today is Tuesday, July 27th. Today, we've got a bunch of things going on. First off, the Stoddard County Commission is looking for looking into an expansion of the Stoddard County Jail and has retained Dale Rogers with Robert Starnes and Associates of Sykeston to draw up some plans to present to the USDA Rural Development for possible grant funding. Presiding Commissioner Greg Mathis told the commission that the jail had 89 prisoners over the July 4th weekend when it is designed for 38. The total number of prisoners is on the increase and Mathis said uh, the state is making changes to state custody of inmates, which will have an impact on the county as well. Inmate counts from Sheriff Carl Hefner's office show that the county jail had 89 prisoners from July 4th to the 7th this year. The average daily count for 2010 is 61.37 compared to 28.59 in the year 2000. The lowest inmate count in 2010 has been 49. The lowest number in 2000 was 18. In other news, another Stoddard County school has taken steps to reduce transportation costs, again the result of slash state funding. Bernie School Superintendent John Boyd announced Monday that effective at the start of the 2010-11 school year in a few weeks, Bernie School buses will be picking up students just once at each block rather than stopping at individual homes. With the new schedule in mind, students are asked to be waiting at their bus stops 10 to 15 minutes earlier than last year when the school year begins. Also, for the first time in Stoddard County Fair history, all animals entered in livestock competition must be pre-registered. According to fair organizers, all stock must be registered by this, this Sunday, August 1st. Organizers say there will be no, no exceptions to the new ruling as well. According to Pam Dowdy of the fair board, if an animal is not pre-registered, it will not show or sell at the 2010, 2010 Stoddard County Fair. Uh, the fair is going to run from September 21st to the 25th. Within two weeks after the August 1st date, the livestock chair or co-chair will meet with all exhibitors of market animals to see and tag the animal if necessary. In Cardinal news, the Cards had a night off last night following dropping two of three games in a weekend series with the Cubs. An overnight Cincinnati loss extends the Cards' lead in, the, in first place in the National League Central to one full game. The team be back in, will be in New York tonight, taking on the Mets at 7-10, so you want to check that out. Oh, 6-10, sorry. In weather, looks like could get a little bit wet today. Not going to be a washout. shouldn't be too hot. High of around 90 degrees and low in the mid-70s. A slight chance of rain continuing on into Wednesday and Thursday. Neither of those are going to be too warm either. Low 90s, mid-70s for highs, for lows, so should be pretty nice. As always, I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in watching our newscast. If there's anything we can do for you, if you have any questions, comments, shoot me an email at cnoles at dailystatesman.com or give me a call at 624-4545. Don't forget to pick up a copy of our print edition for the stories you've heard about and much, much more. And on that note, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.